Hello and welcome to Brandy's Poetry Corner, reading from Waiting for the Past by Les Murray, a Carsonet book, a poetry book society choice, borrowed from the National Poetry Library on the South Bank. Um, this one is, as you may have picked up, I am a very urban person, this, book, this one is about travelling in the middle of the bush, as they might say in Australia, and it's called High Speed Trap Space. So this is High Speed Trap Space by Les Murray. Speeding home from town in rainy dark, for the narrowness of main roads then, we were hurtling, a lorry on our tail bouncing lit our mirrors, twin strawberries kept our lights down, and our highway lane was walled in froth-barked trees, nowhere to swerve. But out between trunks stepped an animal, big neck, muzzle and horns, calmly gazing at the play of speed on counter-speed, its front hooves up, planted on the asphalt, and our little room raced on to a beheading, or else to be swallowed by the truck's high bow. No dive down off my seat would get me low enough to escape the crane swing of that head. But it, and its imminence of butchery and glass. But it was gone. The monster jaw must have recoiled in one gulp to give me my survival. My brain was still full of the blubber lip, the dribbling cud. But in all reality, the bomb stroke had still happened. Ghost glass and blurts of rain still showered out of my face at the man whose straining grip had had to refuse all swerving. Thank you. It's a wonderful poem about a very narrow escape, both for the uh, car, possibly the lorry, and what I take to be a cow. For other poems read by me, many not so exciting as that, uh, look me up, Brandy Pearson, on YouTube. Thank you.